hi all welcome to my youtube channel the testing instinct in this video i will be discussing about use of pre request and post response script in bruno pre request and post response script is added under the script tab of bruno i have added a note here pre request script will be executed before sending the request and post response script will be executed after sending the request here i have given the example for pre request script and post response script I will be explaining this script during the demo. I am going straight into the demo. I have already opened Bruno. For the demo, I will be using the collection authorization. I will be using the request generate bearer token and get favorite airports request. So, in this generate bearer token API request, this one is a post HTTP method supported API. We have to pass the payload in order to get the token. In this body tab, I have not passed any payload. And in the verse tab, you can see that even though I have mentioned some variables in this tab as pre request and post response variables, at the moment these variables are disabled. I have unchecked all the variables. So if you hit this request, you will be getting a 401 unauthorized status code. After the demo, I will be changing the password of this account. Make sure you are using your own email ID and password. To make this request work, we are going to pass the email value and password value from the script tab. So, first I am going to add the value in the pre request section. So, this will be executed before sending the request. I am copying the code from this notepad. So, this is the code you have to use. I am copying. And pasting it here to pass the payload we have to use the request object which is req then we have to call the set body method and we have to pass the email and password value here i have given it directly along with the payload now i am saving the request also in the post response section i am adding a script to store the token value i am copying the post response script I am pasting in the post response section using this particular code you can store the token value into a variable so you have to use the code brew then you have to call the set where method and you have to give a variable name here I have given the variable name as token value so the token value from the response will be stored in the token value variable and we will be reusing that in the subsequent get favorite airports request so first i am going to hit this request and check whether this is working fine or not to do that i am sending the request you can see that this time you have got the token value in the response so this particular pre request script is working fine I am removing this one. I am saving the request. In the where tab, I am going to enable these two variables and saving the request. In the script tab, I am copying the second payload and pasting it here. You can see that this time I have referred the variables in the payload and the token value will be received in the response the variable values are mentioned in the where tab you can see i have enabled the variables email value and password value and i am reusing those variables in the req.setbody method and hitting the request this time also we have got the token in the response now the next step is to use this token value variable in the subsequent get favorite airports request to do that Go to the script tab in this particular request. The pre request section, we have to pass the bearer token value as a header. Just use this code for doing that and copying the code and pasting it here. You can see the token value coming in green color, so it has been already created. Now we have to just send this request. You can see that we have got the favorited airport list using this get request now i am going to run this complete collection using the 
collection or not and check whether the complete collection is working fine or not. I am clicking the run option, it will open the collection runner interface. I am clicking the run collection option. You can see that everything is working fine. So, this is how you can use prerequisite script and post postpone script in Bruno. I hope this session was very useful for everyone. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing the channel. Please like, share and comment on the video. Thanks for watching and keep learning.